Well, hello, everybody. It's your boy, Avery LR32 here. I'm so used to not saying my full name, but I feel like I need to say it more often so people actually know how to pronounce my username. But it's your boy, Avery, and uh, welcome to some Ocarina of Time on the PC gameplay. This is running in 1080p. I believe that my Dell monitor is 1080p. I could be wrong, but it's an HD uh, 60 FPS, and this is the uh, Ship of Harkinian PC port, so if you know anything about that, then uh, you know what this is. If not, then uh, definitely look it up, because it, it's a trip, and if your PC can run it, then uh, definitely get it, because it's a lot of fun. But I just wanted to show off some of this gameplay here, uh, because it's really the only thing I really had filed away for a rainy day, and uh, I just kind of wanted to get some stuff off of my mind in this podcast episode. Um, so, you know, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Um, didn't post yesterday, just wasn't feeling well. I honestly thought I had COVID, but, um, I actually just wasn't feeling good because it's hot as hell out here in Florida. Um, I've also been tired in general just because of the, uh, cancer treatment and things like that. Um, it's not chemotherapy or radiation or anything. For those of you who are new to the channel that came from mco 40s channel, thank you. And I hope that you're enjoying the channel and the content, uh, and all that, um, but I have what's called VHL, which stands for von Hippel-Lindau disease, and it's a rare genetic mutation, causes tumors and cysts to form throughout my body. Uh, so I have to get checked regularly uh, every few months or so with uh, scans, MRIs, things like that, uh, and then also in the eyes too, because I did two rounds of laser uh, therapy to get the eye tumors to shrink in my eyes. So that was a clean bill of health. The the left eye, uh, the it, it was just a small tumor. Nothing's grown at all. It's totally fine. It, it's as it should after the laser. And then the right eye just has some scarring. And other than that, the tumors are gone, which is great. Um, I just get tired of it. You know, I mean, I sat in it. I sat at the uh, the eye doctor's for four and a half hours to get done with this shit. And it was just so annoying. Like I just, I'm not a patient person. I don't have the patience for that. And of course, I, I'm glad I didn't lose my cool about it, but I was definitely kicking myself because turns out my locals was doing their Power of the Elements premiere uh, yesterday on Saturday, even though it's a two day event, they fucking sold out of their kits. So now I gotta wait until the third to get my case plus 10 packs, which I was already getting a case. So it's not a huge big deal, but it's just really annoying. Like I, I like getting the field centers for the seasons and stuff and, you know, having the most up to date one. So it's not a huge big deal. I mean, I'm sure I can pick up a power of the elements field center easily. Um, it's, you know, it's just really annoying because I want to be able to play sprites. I want to be able to have the cards and, um, you know, all that fun stuff, but it, it's, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like my locals are constantly changing their dates and, you know, I'm one of those people that I just, when I get aggravated, it really kind of hinders my day a bit. I'm sure that that happens with a lot of people, but I feel like it happens with me, especially now more than ever, um, because the medication that I'm on for my rare cancer diagnosis is called Wellerig. Uh, I actually did a story on it when I was still working uh, at my old job before I went on medical leave at the local news station I was working at here in town, one of many that are here in uh, Florida. And... Uh, uh, people have complained that the Wellerig medication makes them irritable. I don't know if I'm more irritable because of that or just because of things going on in my life. Um, but it, it just, it really gets me on edge when stuff doesn't go my way. Like more than just like, oh damn, like that sucks that, you know, this happened to me. It's more like, I feel like I'm getting fucked. You know what I mean? And one of my locals in particular, um, lo love the people, love the owners. They're really cool. But you know, their, their previous premieres, they were doing on fucking Sundays. So why the fuck would you suddenly change it to Saturday? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but it just, it really just pisses me off and really rubs me the wrong way. And I just, I don't know, between trying to build a channel and build a following and get to that 1000 subscriber milestone and everything else going on in my personal life, it, it just makes things more difficult, I feel, than they need to be. And, you know, at, at the end of the day, I, I want to do what makes me happy. I, I want to do things that, you know, I, I can be proud of, you know, I, I want to, I want to enjoy my life, I think is really the point I'm trying to get to without kind of just rambling and just talking nonsense. Uh, but that's what this podcast is, you know, it's, it's a, it's a break from, you know, me talking shit about master shits, uh, aka master duel, um, and just, you know, talking to you, the viewer and, you know, not everybody's going to watch these long form content videos, you know, because they're, they're not necessarily for everybody. Um, 
But regardless, I enjoy doing them just because it, it's a nice way to kind of update you on, on what's going on in my life and, um, you know, things that are particularly interesting to me in, in the world and talking about stuff like that. Um, actually, speaking of that, an update too for the channel, we will be doing a case opening of Power of the Elements plus 10 packs since we missed the premiere. So five packs for me, five packs from my dad, a.k.a. my teammate, a.k.a. the OG Jeff Leonard. So many different nicknames. Uh, so that will be on the channel. That's going to probably be a live stream because I'm not going to be able to sit my phone on my tripod for 45 minutes and film. It won't be able to film that whole thing. So we'll probably make that into a live stream. So definitely tune in Wednesday, probably around like 1230, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, and come and hang out in the stream and, and have a good time as we hopefully pull a starlight. So uh, I'm, I'm excited for Sprite, though. I really am. I think that this is definitely going to be a fun set. It's a Rise of the Duelist set, practically, and um, it's it's going to be a great time. I really enjoy opening up products, especially cases, like just going through pack after pack after pack. Like I remember when I bought a Dawn of Majesty case when alu bars were 70 plus dollars and like every two boxes I pulled an alu bar and I ended the case with three alu bars, which was just really funny. So, you know, it's it, it's a fun break. It's, it's different content and uh, I definitely plan on doing more retrospectives. I still want to do a biography on Kazuki Takahashi. It's just the information is kind of scarce because he wasn't really a very public person, I feel. Um, so take that for what you will. Um, I do plan on doing that. I wanted to let the dust settle around his death. I didn't want to look like I was just cashing out on, you know, views because he died because that just seems really douchebaggery. So I, I'm kind of waiting until the dust kind of settles and a little bit more time goes by. But the I, like all I have to do is film my audio and that that's that's pretty much it. Like I, I already have an idea in my head of what I want to show on the screen. Uh, you know, for B-roll and stuff like that. In other news, um, I, I, I feel really healthy. I feel really good, you know, even with being on the medication and things like that. You know, some days are really hit or miss. Uh, I did gain a pound a day while I was gone uh, at Moffitt specifically, because if you remember, I was gone for five days and I wasn't really uploading much. Um, so normally I'm like in the 165 to 168 range and right now I'm in like 174 to 175 range. So my fat ass needs to lose some weight. I feel like wings of redemption out here, like running out of Pepsi or something. <laughs> um, but it, I'm, I, 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 I do feel healthy. I feel really good. Even with having to do MRI machines and sitting there for three plus hours, you know, damn near four hours one time a couple years ago. Um, sitting in a doctor's office waiting to have my eyes checked out for four and a half hours, you know, getting dilated, waiting a fucking hour and a half to get other shit done. You know, it, it, it can be annoying, but I'm also glad that I have my health and, you know, yeah, it may be hot in Florida, but man, at least I get to enjoy it. At least I get to see the sun and the trees and the sky, you know, a lot of things like that you take for granted because you don't know what you have until it's gone. And I think that that's really the message that I want to send out to you today is, you know, don't take life for granted. You know, I'm seeing a lot of people online pissed off that Power of the Elements is another rise of the dual set. It's going to ruin Yu-Gi-Oh! and blah, 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 blah. But, you know, I'm a glass half full type of person majority of the time when I'm not annoyed or I'm not being impatient. Um, and I, I think that it's it's still going to be a fun season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I think that there's going to be ways that you can have fun, whether it's playing Rogue or playing the meta, you know, what whatever it is. Uh, and, uh, you know, don't let the toxic Yu-Gi-Oh players knock you out of your fun. You know, there, there's a few players in my area of Yu-Gi-Oh that I feel, in my opinion, are just toxic players. And I just don't associate myself with them. And, you know, they can talk all the shit that they want. But at the end of the day, they're not talking shit about me. So I could I could give a rat's ass about them. It's about having fun with the game that you want to have fun with. And I've had people tell me, you know, hey, the way I have fun is by playing Master Duel. And I say, hey, man, good for you. If you're having fun with it that way, good for you. It's personally not for me, and I just, I have a fun time just having a blunt uh, comedic personality and just shitting on the game. So, guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast episode. Let me know if you want to want me to continue this series, because I know I enjoy making it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.